we talk about platelets, our normal level is about 100,000 to 450,000 cells per microliter. This obviously is going to depend greatly on where you work, but generally we're looking at levels of about 100, 150,000 to 450,000 or so. And that's the way we usually refer to it is uh, as like patient has a plate, platelets of 150 or 75 or or 250. We don't really say 150,000. We just kind of say it as 100, 150, whatever it is. Now, the reason we do it is we it helps us determine clotting factors and and bleeding disorders. Okay, that's really one of the reasons we're we're looking at this. Okay, platelets. What they do is they really play a major role in coagulation, homeostasis, and thrombus formation. They are the smallest blood cell, and what happens is damaged vessels they actually send out this little signal. And what this signal does, it actually results in platelets traveling to the area and becoming active. And when these platelets become active, they start to grow these little arms, these little tentacles. Uh, So if you think of like a a nice smooth platelet, a nice smooth ball or whatever, when there's damage, these platelets will travel to that area and they become active. Okay, and they start to grow these little arms. And those are activated platelets. And what happens is those arms start to form a bond, okay? They start to grow together um, and they start to play a role in this thrombus formation and, and creating that clot. So because of that, you can see it's it, they're very important. Even though they're one of the, well, even though they are the smallest blood vessel or blood cell, they're very important and play a huge role in clotting. So reasons that we would see it increased. Things like rheumatoid arthritis, hemolytic anemia, birth control, uh, malignancy. But what we really care about with uh, thrombocytes is we're really kind of looking at thrombocytopenia. Okay, what thrombocytopenia means, it's referring to decreased level of platelets. Another word for platelets is thrombocytes. Okay, they're, refer- they're referred to as thrombocytes or platelets. And what we're really concerned about with platelets are decreased levels. And a decrease in your platelet level is referred to as thrombocytopenia. And a good number to think about for thrombocytopenia would be about 100,000. Okay, anything below 100,000 is going to be uh, referred to as thrombocytopenia. So it can be idiopathic, meaning it just occurs for whatever reason. It can be inherited. It can also be due to infection. Infections like hepatitis, uh, HIV, measles, and sepsis can actually lead to thrombocytopenia. It can also be due to hemorrhage. If we if we hemorrhage a lot of blood, if we lose a lot of blood, this can lead to thrombocytopenia. Leukemia can also lead to thrombocytopenia. I've seen leukemic patients with drastically low thrombocytes. Um, I mean, we're talking 4,000 or less thrombocytes, which is concerning because the patients are no longer able to really form a clot at all. So even the smallest injury can lead to hemorrhage. Starting an IV, starting a catheter, any small amount of damage or trauma to the patient can lead to hemorrhage. Uh, drug therapy can also do it. Aspirin, ibuprofen, sulfa antibiotics, hydralazine, and thiazide diuretics can actually lead to thrombocytopenia as well. So with these patients, what you're really looking for is you're hoping to have thrombocytes over 100, 150,000. And what you really don't want, major concerns are going to happen at under 50,000, under 20,000. We really lose our ability to, to be able to clot. And so you'd really let your patient, your physician, your provider know uh, about your patient's thrombocytes, where they're at, uh, especially if they're a patient who's already at risk for bleeding. All right. So hopefully that helps you understand thrombocytes a little bit or platelets and why we're going to run this lab.